WayTrueBeer.com. We're here with Mr. John Skip. Look at the size of this thing. It's nuts, isn't it? So what can I find in this well, beautiful book? I'll tell you what. Basically, this is um, a greatest hits anthology of zombie fiction from the earliest Haitian voodoo stuff to the very earliest George Romero flavored uh, Walking Dead stuff to the latest crazy ass stuff. And um, the reason that I was hired to do this thing is because in 1989, I edited an anthology with my ex-writing partner, Craig Spector, called Book of the Dead. It was the very first post-Romero zombie fiction that was oh, really? published. Yeah. Um, wow. And basically what happened was, um, I'm a huge Romero fan. I mean, he's, he's my fucking hero. Oh, yeah. Uh, and um, so in, I think it was like 87, uh, George became interested in uh, my first novel, The Light at the End, also written with Spectre. And uh, he wanted to direct it. So he calls up. I'm sitting on the phone with George Romero. And all of a sudden I went, you know, George, I was thinking... <laughs> I know all these other horror writers that love your stuff almost as much as I do. What if we did an anthology of like the, the world's greatest horror writers writing about what else happened when the dead got up and started even living? And he said, I don't think anyone would give a shit, honestly, but, but if you do, uh, all you have to do is avoid any uh, scenes or characters from the original films so that Richard Rubenstein, my producer, doesn't uh, sue your ass. <laughs> and, uh, and I guess it would be fine, although you know, if you can actually pull it off, I'll eat my hat. So we got a hold of we got a hold of Stephen King, and uh, Joe Lansdale and Dave Scow and Robert McCown and all these other amazing writers, and uh, uh, immediately had this this great book called Book of the Dead. It was the very first uh, zombie fiction of you know of the Romero stripe, and Romero says that he actually put uh, spaghetti sauce on a Steelers cap and that's what he ate, um, <laughs> um, and uh, followed up with some other stuff. Uh, Still Dead was like two years later. Savini wrote the introduction. More great writers, and um, and so I sort of became a zombie authority and a zombie authority figure as well. They all they all cringe when I walk into the room, um, and um, so a couple of years ago, Black Dog comes up to me and says, uh, "We'll give you a shitload of money if you pull together a, an encyclopedic 700-page anthology with introductions for each story." Um, and um, and sort of lay out the history and so forth. And uh, I said, sure. Uh, and they said, you have a month. And I said, okay. So I pulled this thing together <laughs> in a month. This um, was put together in a month? Yes, it was. Wow. Um, I am thoroughly impressed. I can't even make a pop-up book in a week. <laughs> so <laughs> I, I'm a hard worker. What can I say? Uh, I didn't sleep a lot that month. But um, now I'm doing a book with them every year. I just did Werewolves and Shapeshifters last year, and this year I just did Demons. Like more um, compendulum books like that? Yes, exactly. Okay. These giant, uh, comprehensive, greatest hits anthologies. And what's great is that I get to do classic literature from the earliest stages to the middle stage to hiring people to write me new fucking amazing stories. Yeah. So uh, I'm, I'm getting to... Yeah, just being able to, to take like a bizarro guy like Carl Melick III, whose recent novel, Zombies and Shit, is a very important <laughs> part of the zombie literature, and have him in a book with Ray Bradbury and, and King. I mean, it, these... Man, like these Neil things, Gaiman. Yeah, Ga Gaiman is great. Or Gaiman, sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Gaiman is great, and he's in all three of the anthologies. He's, uh, I, I think, one of the finest writers we have right now. Um, so that's kind of the story there with regards to that. The other thing I'm doing here... Um, I, uh, all my other zombie books are sold out upstairs, oh, wow. but uh, I had The Emerald Burrito of Oz, which is a bizarro uh, fantasy weird thing that takes place in Oz, and the first Mexican restaurant in Oz once we uh, <laughs> announced that, that Oz is real and there really is a gate and really is in Kansas. I bring it up because it has zombie munchkins, and it has uh, uh, monsters horrible monsters from Oz that get killed and turned into zombie monsters. Um, so that's kind of weird. Um, also, a novel called Jake's Wake, which is about a corrupt televangelist who comes back from the dead on Judgment Day uh, <laughs> with horrible results for everyone. Uh, so that's a different kind of zombie novel. Who would have thought Judgment Day? Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. And, and then uh, a novel I wrote with uh, Cody Goodfellow, also um, um, called Spore, and it involves the uh, the fungus 
that creates the zombie ants in the uh, rainforest you may have heard about. Yeah. Um, uh, cryoceps or something like that. I can't fucking remember. But um, basically, this is a, a human version in Los Angeles, a sentient fungus that cuts itself into LA's cocaine supply so that people are snorting it directly into their head and becoming these tripped out hive mind, uh, uh, high rev zombies. Wow. Uh, that, that blow the tip. Please tell me this of, takes place in the 80s. No, no, this takes place. Uh, okay. uh, it takes place on Thanksgiving of this year. <laughs> um, and. Um, yeah, it, uh, it also features, I think, a 230-page car chase, possibly the longest car chase in literary history. It involves wow. zombies. Um, like a Michael Bay-style car chase where pop-up, you know, things like that? or um, <laughs> let's, uh, It involves uh, 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 possessed crack whores, and um, uh, I think at one point our heroes are trying to get away, going the wrong way up uh, uh, a California interstate, in uh, go karts that they stole from uh, uh, from a go kart uh, uh, emporium, and yeah, it's it's just mayhem. It's fucking mayhem all over wow. the place. Um, and I also just because I haven't said enough in the last ten seconds, um, I'm doing a movie called Rose the Bizarro Zombie Musical, uh, which the trailer should be showing at this convention. Really, um, it involves a, uh, a very attractive young uh, ex mental patient named Rose who has her own cable access slash internet puppet show that she shoots out of her shithole loft in downtown Los Angeles. However, it's now 48 hours into the zombie apocalypse, so she's staying on the air like Radio Free Europe. She's mm -hmm. like uh, running uh, rescue stations and puppet skits and musical numbers to try and keep hope alive and keep people connected and periodically going downstairs to beat the fuck out of the zombies that are trying to break in and eat her. Of course. Uh, and uh, it stars an amazing young actress named Chase McKenna, who is a, a trained Shakespearean actress who also does screwball comedy, juggles machetes, uh, is a badass with guns, baseball bats, and other weapons, uh, and is just a phenomenal performer. Uh, and uh, it's her story. I'm the writer-director. Um, and Is it still filming? Or? Yeah, we, yeah we're, we're still filming. As a matter of fact, we're still raising money. We just... We just raised twenty grand on a Kickstarter campaign. Yeah, gotta love Kickstarter. Gotta love Kickstarter. I mean, those guys are so cool, and uh, that jump started uh, production. But we still have money left to raise. If you go on uh, like Fangoria or Dread Central or Fearnet or any of those places, you can find the trailer, which you may want to include. Um, so, so yeah, I'm I'm zombie. I'm zombie, uh, I'm zombie up to my fucking forehead. Yeah, Which is why all my hair fell out. The zombies <laughs> were crawling up through me and pushed my hair out. It actually worked the other way for me. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. all growing this way now. <laughs> but, no, like, I, I, first of all, i got to say, I mean, the, you're a New York Times bestselling author. Yes. And you work with zombies. Yes. That is probably the best combination you can have in the literary age that we have right now. Because, I mean, zombies are such a huge part of our culture. Yes. And you're forerunning. You're, you're, you're leading this culture. Um, so I, I helped. I'm happy mm -hmm. to have helped. Well, hopefully we can join in and not be, uh, you know, zombies on this too. So, uh, once again, can you guys see this here? Yep. Huh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> That'll be the screenshot for the image. Yeah, yeah. The, the thumbnail. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, uh, it was amazing talking to you, John. Great pleasure, man. Uh, so, once again, wayintrobeer.com and uh, stay tuned for more ZombieCon. TripleBeer.com! <laughs> TripleBeer! <laughs>